package in the mail and my sex things from Japan Let in with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little package in the mail. Um, it's a package that is the start of a little project, maybe a series of videos, depending on how they go. It is actually a, um, a kit 8-bit computer. Sorry, I'm just checking what else is in there. Very well packaged. So it's called the Gigatron. So a TTL-based um, microcomputer system. It actually does come with its own case and everything like that. Um, and obviously assembly required. Um, undo, uh, undo this. Oh, right. Very well packaged. And it's for those, you know, uh, geeky technical people like myself that have always wanted to build their own computer. Um, actually, this harks back to um, uh, quite early days of my computing history. I used to get Australian personal computer, and there was actually a three-episode run um, where they were making, and over those three episodes, you were actually able to make your own computer called the Super 80. I was just a little bit too young and couldn't afford to get the uh, kit that was offered by the uh, partnering partnering electronics firm and that's something I would have loved to do and out of that Super 80 also sprung the micro B and this is very relevant I've been um, I have an Instagram account as well that those people you know check down below and I've actually been um, every day or so posting a picture of each one of the retro computers in my collection and it was actually just yesterday that I posted a picture of the micro B itself an, an Australian built computer that also started in kit form and a lot of the early micros did. I mean, even the um, ZX80, you could order that as a kit to start with. The early um, um, Acorn computers were kits as well. So it's where the you know the computer industry started. So this one uh, actually comes in a they've got a very nice wooden box that it'll all go in when it's finished. Uh, it's actually got a um, like a glass or perspex lid so you'll be able to see what's inside it when it's finished and inside it we have quite a few components including a, um, a, uh, a USB uh, like Famicom controller you can see the circuit board in there uh, lots of chips so it's it's not a um, <coughs> it's not a complicated machine but it still has quite reasonable graphics capabilities for an 8-bit computer, and it's all done with discrete logic components, and I believe, I believe, I haven't actually researched it very much, a Z80 driving at all. Um, so, I thought I would get into the practice of setting up my camera properly, and um, actually videotaping me assembling this as I go. Um, now, it looks like there's a lot of chips to do, and not many uh, sockets, but I may actually have some sockets. I prefer to use sockets where possible. Uh, but we'll see, see what I have and see how I go. But I thought, why not? We'll start a little mini series on me assembling this, and then once I get it up and going, we can explore the computer itself and um, and how to program it and things like that. And uh, the way um, I like doing videos is, is stuff that I'm personally interested in. So I hope there are people out there that will like to follow this journey so just a short video this time to tell you about the start of it and um, we'll see how we go but I'm actually very excited uh, to putting some time into assembling this so I'll, um, I'll give a thorough read of the manual and um, work out how to set up my camera so I can um, uh, you know video myself soldering various components um, and uh, we can assemble it together all right I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.